He was really somebody special. He really is very patriotic. He loves God and he loves his country. I think most engineers love science fiction too and kind of where does some of the ideas come from? It comes from all these things you absorbed your whole life and you say, oh well, boy, you know, somebody thought of that in science fiction and here's how you could actually do that. You kind of know what's going to do and what's not going to do. I have that sort of instinct now. He just seems to have the ability to cut through the nonsense and and get right to the you know the soul of the subject the heart of the subject and i looked at that and i said someday i'm gonna have a nice house like that but back then i didn't really recognize it but he's always had sort of an engineering mindset building things for working at berkeley i'm a volunteer i volunteer my time there in other organizations two electric vehicles i can show you today i thought he was a very nice fellow he's very um, modest, down to earth, um, but if you look at his list of accomplishments, it's certainly very impressive. You know, he is a starred engineering innovator. Microsoft Activision. Oculus was a great experience. It was great people. But that's the stuff I like to do. He could be like Scotty on Star Trek, I guess. The guy that you like, call and you need to get something done and you know he's going to actually get the thing done.